to you. Let's join the ceremony right now. Also the four, six, eight, and nine irons. The driver, three wood, putter. I can't even figure out the golf umbrella. But I never miss with a seven iron. So before I go straight back into training, I thought I would share a wonderful poem with all of you by Randy Sabatos that's called simply golf. I appreciate this poem because it's a player's love letter to this sport that we all love so much. Now, I gotta be honest, I, I did think briefly about remixing and beatboxing the poem, but I have too much respect for this event. And frankly, I wasn't really sure about Medina's club policy on beatboxing. And then I figured probably none of you even know what that is. So, in keeping with the beauty and dignity of our surroundings, please welcome the Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra. Maestro, if you please. How does one speak about the game of golf? A game of so many emotions, both highs and lows. It can be as sweet and passionate as your lover on a warm summer night. Your swing is flowing smooth and easy and the ball is rolling the greens, pure and true. It can feel as if you're destined to endless torture. Your heart being slowly ripped out, piece by piece, when you struggle hole by hole. You can experience nature's beauty as your mind and soul wander between shots. A friendship can be forged for a lifetime as you talk, laugh, and joke with others while sharing this crazy bond with a ball and clubs. Golf is so much like life, full of adversity and rub of the greens. No matter how bad your round was, you keep coming back to give it another. Go the same way you pick yourself up off of the floor when life's random hurts come your way. And why? You come back because of the challenge that rush of euphoria. When you hit the perfect shot or you knock in the 40-foot snake, just to have that indescribable feeling, to see the look on your buddies' faces when they think they've got you and you come from nowhere to tie or beat them on a hole or in a match. The jokes, the laughter, the razzing and ribbing, the humbleness and the handshakes, the beers and the tears. That wonderful feeling of accomplishment when you finally win a tournament, which so seldom comes your way. 
Oh, this game, it is never ever the same from day to day. We all hold something about this wonderful game so close and deep within our hearts. It fills our souls with feelings of life. Golf. Ladies and gentlemen, another round Justin of Justin Timberlake with his passion for the game of golf, very qualified to talk about it. A six handicap in his own right. Much more to come at the end of the stage. Justin Timberlake, ladies and gentlemen. Justin, I know you're excited to be in your first Ryder Cup. You a little nervous? Absolutely zero points <laughs> for the Ryder Cup team. Welcome aboard. I am. I'm so excited to be here this weekend to see this wonderful event firsthand. It's my first Ryder Cup, you guys. And so it is my honor to kick off the 2012 Ryder Cup with the procession of officials and vice captains from both Europe and the United States, joined by their wives and partners. Here's the moment we have all been waiting for. The players who will compete for Europe and the United States in the 2012 Ryder Cup. Area of the PGA of America, Derek Sprague. <laughs> Vice President of the PGA of America, Ted Bishop. Okay, everybody, you can all be seated up here on stage. Music there, so that's big. One more time for Joshua Ledet and the Soul Children of Chicago. Well, everybody, it's been a long anticipated journey to another Ryder Cup, and no one has been more anxious for tomorrow than the two men entrusted with leading their respective sides as the captains. And from Europe, please welcome a seven time participant of the Ryder Cup. Playing alongside Seve Ballesteros, they form the most successful partnership in foursomes and four balls. Please welcome the second ever Spaniard to Captain Europe, Jose Maria Olazabal. <laughs> Jose, thank you so much. It's now time to meet the U.S. Ryder Cup team. From the United States, a veteran of six Ryder Cups and a winner of the 1997 PGA Championship, the 27th man to guide the U.S. as team captain, please welcome Davis Love III. Thank you, Davis. Thank you, Jose Maria. It's now time for one of the Ryder Cup's oldest and most honored traditions, the raising of the flags above the Medina Country Club signaling that the 2012 Ryder Cup is officially underway. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the European Anthem performed by the Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra under the direction of Alan Tinkham. And that will be followed by the singing of the Star Spangled Banner by Grammy-nominated platinum recording artist, star of the film Sparkle, and the youngest winner in American Idol history, Jordan Sparks. Welcome back to the stage, Justin Timberlake. Justin. All right, everybody. Play begins tomorrow and will continue through Sunday. Have a safe and memorable weekend. Once again, good luck to both squads, the US and Europe. Enjoy the 2012 Ryder Cup. From Medina for Justin Timberlake, Dan Hicks. So long for now. Let's get it on. I'm so excited to be here this weekend to see this wonderful event firsthand. It's my first Ryder Cup, you guys. From the opening ceremony to live from, we welcome the six-time Grammy, four-time Emmy Award winning singer, actor, and, and most importantly, six handicap golf course owner, <laughs> Justin, great to see you. Great to be here. Justin, how'd you get involved and how much have you enjoyed it so far? You know, um, I got a, a letter from, from Davis, and uh, I, it was, I, That's what it I, takes. I thought it was a prank at first. Like, <laughs> but you actually want me to be the ambassador? And I you know, called him back and said I'd be more than honored to, uh, to be here with all the players and, uh, and, and you know, maybe give, uh, give the game a face uh, 
one of the, you know, an amateur face. What's the mood, in, <laughs> what's the mood inside the U.S. team room? It's really loose. It's really loose. They seem like they're, uh, you know, they seem like they're loosey-goosey. Are, are you singing for them, harmonizing no, for them? No, 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 no. I, I, you know, uh, they got to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I, but, but on, on that front, by the way, you're not the only song and dance man on this set. Sir Nick can carry a tune. Yes, I do A, know a that. European well, Ryder Cup well, I had, I had right? two drum kits. Uh, Nico McBrain, drummer from Iron Maiden in my team room, and I, everybody thought, what are you doing? But then all the Swedish, all the, all the Scandinavians, especially the girls, go, oh my goodness, we had our first date to Iron Maiden. We went on, <laughs> we had our honeymoon to Iron Maiden. And I'm like, you're kidding me, but they loved it. So we had, we had great fun, great entertainment. Yeah. Well, Justin, you're a, you're a golf nut, aren't you? you totally. You, you love it. Um, where would you put this event? in terms of uh, popularity amongst the majors and pantheon of golf tournaments? I would say, you know, maybe you got a tipping point with Augusta and the Masters, but I'd say I think this is the, this is the most exciting uh, event I've ever been to as, a, as just a spectator, uh, to see all the players together, the best in the world, you know, USA versus Europe. But there's, there's also this sense of camaraderie that I don't think you get at any other golf event in the world. Nick was talking earlier today about how uh, how nervous he was uh, going to hit his first shot in the Ryder Cup. Is that is that something you could relate to as an entertainer? Do you still get nervous when you go up on the on the set to uh, to do your stuff? I get nervous trying to hit a, a golf ball in front of no, three or four. No, how about singing? <laughs> <You still, laughs> no. I've seen you at a golf ball. I know why you get a little nervous. But. You uh, you get a, <laughs> you get ooh, okay. oh just a little. All right, pretty all good. right, all right, all right, Brandel. <laughs> all right, I see where this is going. Yeah. Um, no, I, you get those butterflies. Yeah, you get excited. Uh, you're excited that everyone's there to see are, yeah. you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you want to put on a show uh, for the crowd. And I think in the same way Nick can relate to, you want to put on a show for the crowd. You know, Absolutely. in the way that you can, you know you can. You want to you want to perform to your potential. You have so. a new you have a new movie out, Trouble with a Curve. Clint Eastwood, Amy Adams. <laughs> you shot it in Atlanta. And you had a chance to play a little golf with Clint at a place that we've heard of, Augusta National? Yeah, one thing I learned is if you roll around with Clint Eastwood, you can get into places. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the week before the Masters, we shot back, uh, back in April, and the week before the Masters, we were able to, able to play uh, at Augusta. So that was... That was pretty special. We, we, we saw you out there with Bill Murray earlier this week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, who made a golf movie that I think we've all seen. Of course. Yeah, Caddyshack. <laughs> oh, you guys want a little happy Gilmore right here. Now, now who hit the, the better drive? Oh, of course I did. Look at that. <laughs> That's, that is impressive. <laughs> oh, That's like Gary Player. coordination, folks. <laughs> I think wow. I, I think I hit that shot on the range better than I hit any ball in the celebrity scramble that day. <laughs> Nicky, where's one of those Euro tunes that we're going to well, hear yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, I, th I, th I think they brought you in there because your American fans are useless at singing songs on the first tee. You know, you know we always oh, ask yeah, no, the football the European song. fans are. The very last yeah. when I was captain it was great because they would come up with "You've got a Big Mac, we've got G Mac." But the, the best <laughs> bit I thought once America got going, once they got past USA, USA, then Alot killed because they started singing you they started singing um sing while you win in you only sing while you win in so i thought we could get you out there <laughs> okay in your senorita mode and go <laughs> no i thought you could give it there like when Sergio you want to come play golf with me i want to play golf with you Chew. is that all right you might be on to something it's not bad huh? you might be on to something they do need a new song i'm not sure if you what could you're tweet that to, i could be as big as <laughs> if you could tweet that for me i'll be as big as justin bieber by next tuesday you know <laughs> Well, I don't know if you want that, man. <laughs> if someone would have said Nick was going to be the first one to sing a song up here with Justin Timberlake, I, I would have taken that. I'm brave. That was pretty good. I, you are. I'm brave. You yeah, are. You're not a shy man at Nick's all. Nick's anything, he's not brave. Shy. He is. Yeah, Justin, he is. thank you. And enjoy the rest of the Ryder Cup. My we pleasure. appreciate your time. You guys, too. It's going to be a great one. Justin Timberlake, the U.S. team ambassador. We will continue to bring